Hello, and welcome to Day 8 of the Imminent Christmas Advent Calendar. It has been just over a week now, and I'm just trying to delve back in once again to see what we're going to get. Oh, I opened it first time the correct way, and it's the correct way up as well. So, yesterday we had a fun pack. I do believe we've had a fun pack two days in a row now, which is pretty interesting. So... Curious to see what today is going to be. Try and bend that. It's a tone of bend. I think we might have a promo card today. Uh, we do indeed. Let's see. Oh, you know what? In terms of the state of the other cards we've had, this actually isn't quite as bad. Uh, and of course, it's. Hey, there we go. We got a hollow deli bird. Now, uh, a friend of the channel, Tom, did ask, actually, are these unique pieces of art? I mean, obviously, the snowflake thing is unique, but I don't actually know if this art is unique or not. So these may be exclusive promos, or this may have featured in another set. I don't remember seeing this uh, deli bird before. Obviously, it might not have been hollow. It might have just been a um, uh, an uncommon or something. Anyway, I'm going to go sleeve this. Hey, there you go. So... It's not, still not in the best of shape, but I will chuck it under a heavy book along with my other two promos and hope it flattens it out somewhat. Uh, this isn't, you know, as horrible. Anyway, let's delve in to this box and grab something random. First up, ooh, <laughs> is a Yu-Gi-Oh pack. Uh, we've been hitting a lot of these recently, so... Uh, It'll be interesting to see how many we've got left. I'm obviously not keeping a count because I don't want to spoil myself as well. Uh, so the promo is there. Oh, I say the promo. Uh, some, of, uh, Quite a lot of these might be promos actually, but, you know, it's it's the rare. We've got a Performer Pal Skullcrowbat Joker. Skullo, Skullcrowbat. Okay. Y yeah, why not? We've got... Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. That's very vague and slightly ominous. We have a Wizard Buster Destruction Sword. That's very cool. Oh, next up we have DD Swirl Slime, another DD card. Uh, we have Mystery Shell Dragon. That's kind of cool. I do like pulling dragons. They they usually have pretty cool. Uh, designs and stuff. Ooh, it's defense is zero. I'm sure there's some kind of effect that changes it. Ooh, Raid Raptor, Skull Eagle. Uh, I've heard of Raid Raptors before. We've got Extinction on Schedule. Yeah, I mean, that seems on schedule, I suppose. I don't know who's scheduled instruction. We've got another Extinction on Schedule. Fair enough. Uh, we have an Ancient Gear Golem. Oh, Ancient Gear Golem. That's another card I've heard of before. Um, I want to say Yugi had one, right? Or oh, was it Jaden in GX? I can't remember. But he's got some interesting stats. And, ooh, our rare is a regular rare today. It is Extra Buck. Uh, that's interesting. He's a goblin chef. Dude, I guess. Yeah, no, that isn't hollow. It's just the way the light's reflecting. Kind of cool. Um, one of the one of the least hype rares I think we've got in these packs so far. Uh, right, let's delve in again and grab something. Oh, grab two things. Hang on, let's check them back. Uh, it is. Oh, hey, there you go. It is a silver tempest pack. Very cool. Right, so. Uh, technically, I could have just pulled one of the Yu-Gi-Oh things, but being as I grabbed two of them together... Uh, also, I don't think anyone's desperate to have four Yu-Gi-Oh packs back-to-back. -back. Although, I find them quite interesting, because I do see cards I've never heard of before, I've never seen, because uh, much like a lot of card games, about 90% of the cards produced just are never really spoken of, because they're not meta enough. Uh, I'm going to guess it's water energy. No, oh, not steel. I swear we get a lot of steel energies, actually, with these packs. Uh, right, first up, we've got female meow stick. I think that's the female form, right? We've got curlier. Oh, gym trainer. Uh, I don't know what gym specifically that uniform was for. Is it rock? Because I know each gym did have a different uniform in Soul Shield. 
We've got Sandy Gas, that happy little sandcastle. Ranacanth, my dude. We've got a whole lucha. A rufflet. A... So I think uh, we do have chance for trainer gallery in these packs as well. So yet again, there's two chances to pull some heat. I was going to say hotness. Heat, I guess. Uh, down the heat, we've got Vulpix. Ooh, let's go. We've got Blissey V with um, the Pokemon Center lady. She's no longer called Nurse Joy, apparently. Oh, look at that. Blissey's carrying some uh, some towels. That's really cute, actually. That's um, so This is a Trina Gallery card, as we can see at the bottom there, TG. Um, yeah, that is really cute. Um, so usually they're not Vs, I think, which is why you see more of a border here. That is that is a really good pull. Whatever we get next, I'm happy with that. And we've got Hisoyan Bravery, who I really like. I prefer this form to regular Bravery, I think. Uh, just because he's got like the weird psychic -y head things going on. And he's a rideable Pokemon. Well, those are some pretty cool pulls. I mean, the Yu-Gi-Oh pack was, you know, it was, it was fine. Um, I got a Deli Bird card, which I'm happy with. That is... The first one I expected to pull, really. Although, these might be in a random order, thinking of. I, I don't know if everybody's getting Deli Bird on day eight. Let me know if you've got this uh, calendar below, and uh, let me know if you pulled Deli Bird on day eight. Anyway, that wraps it up for this video. I will see you guys again tomorrow for day nine. So stay tuned for that, and until then, goodbye.